Hey everyone, Rob Gagne here with Boveda and I'm at King Corona Cigars with Nick. Nick is a certified tobacconist. Nick, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming in, Rob. I appreciate it. No problem, man. Hey, I just got your Cafe Corona over at the, the bar there. This drink has cayenne pepper in it and espresso and milk. And it's got this unique kind of peppery flavor. Right. So I'm looking to you to tell me what should I pair with this drink? Because you guys have a fresh professional sommelier in-house, Ashley, who told me that you could easily find me a perfect cigar for this drink. Yeah, even though Ashley really loves wine and she's great at selling it, she makes the best coffee here. And the Cafe Corona's actually got like a secret spicy caramel sauce with like cayenne pepper infused and a few other peppers in there. And gives you like this unique kind of spicy synergy. With that particular coffee, I like to pair it with the Bayas Artes by AJ Fernandez in the short Churchill size. 48 gauge on there is a little bit more flavorful. It's gonna leave you with like a nice like kind of cinnamon bite to kind of like contrast with that cayenne spices. Some smooth like white oaky undertones so you're left with like a nice creamy kind of caramelly woodsy thing going on. Because the two spices are gonna kind of cancel each other out. Yeah, and it's gonna leave you with like a nice kind of woodsy, caramelly. Okay, so the other flavors are gonna come out more. That's yeah. awesome. So if I didn't have a spicy drink or let's say I just had regular coffee or maybe espresso, what else would I be looking for in order to capture a good pairing? I usually look at like the region and like where the coffee is from. So I drink a lot of coffee at home, Rob. I really like Sumatra coffees. Those are usually like slightly salty and like nutty with like some hints of molasses. So sometimes I'll either like contrast with that or I'll kind of pair it in the same direction. If we were going same direction, I'd go like something like a San Cristobal Revelation. Something that's gonna kind of like blend. Nutty flavor. Yeah. Something that's gonna kind of go with that like molasses kind of stuff. Okay. Or we can go something sweeter on the sweeter end, like a quintessence or something like that. And that way you can kind of get something sweet and salty in the end and just get overall mouthfeel. So you could do either or, right? You could either try to match the flavor. Yeah. Or that characteristic, the yep. sweet, salty, or the peppery side of it. Or you could switch it up and go the opposite direction. Is there ever a time though where it's like, absolutely do not pair these two things together because it's gonna be bad? Yeah, I try not to pair anything too far in one direction. So no full-bodied oscudos with black coffee, you know, really? unless you really want to put some hair on your chest. It just <laughs> ends up to be very, a little bit too much acidity. The okay. sugars in the darker cigars tend to bring out a little bit more of the acrid undertones of the coffee that you're trying to cancel it out when so brewing. So darker wrappers, stronger nicotine tobacco doesn't go well with darker coffees. In my experience, yes, for sure. Perfect. That's good advice. Yeah. So try to keep it, if we do have a darker cigar, try to keep it on the lighter side yeah. for the coffee. Maybe add a little milk, some sweetness yeah. to it. Yeah, that way you kind of like coat the mouth and then you've got something like leathery, peppery, earthy, kind of breaking up that like mouth coating creaminess. Perfect. Yeah. Great advice, Nick. Yeah, I try to like focus on where like you feel certain stuff in the tongue. So like if you feel like saltiness on the tip of your tongue, try to get like something that complements like the outside of your tongue. Just that way you get like the overall like mouth umami like flavor. You heard it from Nick. Here at King Corona Cigars, he's a certified tobacconist. He knows what he's talking about. Come down, get a cigar, get a drink. You're gonna have a good pairing. And for the, you guys at home, you got a little tip from Nick on how to pair your next coffee and cigar pairing. Thanks for joining us. You know where to catch Bovida, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.